Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to part 3 of our capsule wardrobe series. And in today's video, I'm going to cover a few pieces. Not a few, actually there are a lot of pieces and these are the foundational items that forms any capsule wardrobe. And by foundational, I mean these are must have because with these items you can create multiple outfits again and again. So hopefully once you start adding these items in your capsule wardrobe, you can get rid of the feeling that you have nothing to wear. So without any further ado, let's get started. Before we start, let me explain the structure of this video so it's easy for you guys to understand. So I have divided it into five parts and the first part will be for your bottoms, which is your jeans, trousers, etc. And the second one is for tops like t-shirts, shirts. The third one is for dresses, fourth one for shoes and fifth is for accessories, which is again divided into a few parts like bags, belts, sunglasses. But jewelry, I will be covering it in part four or five of this series. Let's start with part one, which is your bottoms. And in this one, I'm going to cover jeans and trousers. Let's talk about jeans first. When it comes to choosing basic jeans, there are a few things to consider. Number one is your body type. Always choose the style that suits your body type. And I've explained everything in part one of this series. So I'm not going to go into details. Second thing to consider is the wash of the denim. There are three types, light wash, medium wash, and dark wash. I think dark wash is something that you can dress up or down and is more more inclined towards formal or professional settings but light wash is something that you can go for for a casual look and third but very important point is the quality of your denim i think quality of the fabric plays a big role on how your overall outfit will look if the fit is not good the fabric quality is pretty bad then it will show in your outfits and you will not look put together let's say you bought a jeans for $30 and it will last you only six months then you are spending $60 every year and are looking for a perfect pair of jeans again and again going online wasting your time and it's so much effort to look for that perfect pair of jeans if you go for one high quality jeans for hundred dollars it will save you so much time so much effort and your outfits will look very nice very clean very put together and you don't have to spend any extra money for the next 10 years if you have survived so many years without a good quality jean i think you can survive it one one more year so save your money for uh, those 12 months and invest in a high quality jeans and i cannot stress this enough now let me show you what i have in my capsule wardrobe so when it comes to blue denim i only have two one is light wash the other one is medium wash and my recommendation for your capsule wardrobe is that you start with just these two pieces and they don't have to be the same style for example this one is a straight leg and the other one is mixture of both straight wide leg jeans just go for the styles that suits best for your body type but if you are going only for two then don't buy anything else just go for something very simple so these are the two jeans that i would recommend when it comes to blue denim now let's talk about black and white black i think is again a must have it's very versatile will go with all your outfits very neutral color so i would recommend that you buy uh, one black jeans either skinny or straight leg whatever style suits best for your body type and white jeans i think you can leave it out right now you don't have to spend your money on white jeans i cannot remember any outfit where you cannot replace your white jeans with a light wash denim so uh you can use either or you don't have to spend your money on white denim right now uh once you have all the basic pieces like a light wash medium wash dark wash and black one uh then you can go ahead and invest your money in a white piece and with right fit and style i think jeans can be foundation for so many different outfits i totally understand if you don't want to only wear jeans with all your different outfits and that's the reason why i have this another section included here in the bottoms which is trousers so these are meant for the days when you just want to feel comfortable it's just a casual college going outfit or you are just going out for grocery shopping or something now keep in mind that this is not an office capsule wardrobe office trousers and pants are a totally different topic that i might cover in future but this is only a general capsule wardrobe series and i would recommend that you start with two high quality trousers that are lightweight and suits your body type i have these two colors and you don't have to stick with these two because i know these are boring and very neutral uh, the first one is beige off white and the second one is green 
Now we are talking about part two, which is for our tops, t-shirts, shirts, layering tanks, tops, pretty much everything. And this is the longest part, I think. Let's start with the first topic, which is layering tanks. These are foundation of the foundational pieces. So you can imagine like these are must, must have, and they are very important for your capsule wardrobe because these will form the base layer of any outfit, whether you are talking about spring season, summer season, or winters so it's important that you listen to this part very carefully so this is what layering tank tops look like they can either be like this just like a camisole or they can be something like this with a white strap on the shoulders now it's up to you uh, which one do you want to invest in personally I find myself wearing these kinds more during summer season or winter season because these have an extra layer on the inside uh, to provide me extra warmth and I think this is perfect for Canadian weather but if you live in a relatively hot climate then you can go for something like this which is very lightweight and whenever you buy something like this make sure the structure is such that you can also wear them alone like they can be a top or they can be a layering tank top. I don't know if I'm making sense right now, but let's just say if you have to wear them uh, under your shirts, they will look good. Or if you have to wear them like on their own, they should look good as a top in themselves. I still don't think I'm making sense, but I will leave a video on the side explaining what I mean. So my recommendation is to buy them in three colors, black, white, and a shade of brown. Or you can also go with nude. And I think I'm going to make this point again and again. Uh, if you are going through the pain of creating your capsule wardrobe now, then might as well invest in some high quality pieces. And for these layering tops, I think they should be of lightweight, breathable fabric, uh, something that will give your body a very nice shape so you might want to consider the neckline as well and this is something that I forgot to explain it's not a hard and fast rule to just go with these uh, round neck types you can also go with a square neck I think that also looks very flattering it all depends on your body type and I have explained this in part one so if you miss that you don't deserve to watch part three <laughs> this next type is totally optional I leave it up to you once you have your layering tanks you can invest in these linen tanks as well I find them very useful underneath uh, the blazers so if you are trying to create different outfits using your double breasted blazers I think you can invest in these pieces too the next category that we are going to discuss is t-shirts I don't think I have to explain a lot but I have a few recommendations I think we all know that t-shirts are must have in capsule wardrobe you can style them up or down depending on the occasion you can wear them with your denim your skirts your uh, jeans and pair it up with sneakers or heels so they are very versatile but what will make them more versatile is is the neutral colors so I recommend that you invest in gray white and black so these are the must-have in your wardrobe and don't just go with uh, something plain like this you can also go with little details like this one has a heart on the left which I think is very cute but this one is quite old so I have to replace this one but I just wanted to show you guys for reference what I have in my wardrobe so these three are basic colors and then depending on your color palette you can also invest in a few other colors I have this bright blue color in my wardrobe i really love this one because again this goes with uh, all of my skirts my jeans my shirts even it also gives me a pop of color on the days when i want to experiment with my looks if your personal style is edgy and uh, streetwear then you can go ahead and buy some graphic tees but it's totally up to you your personal choice i have this one and then i was able to find another one the next type i think you might have already guessed by now it's uh, uh, the button down shirts i know linen button down shirts can be very expensive but again just like a denim this is an investment that will last you for years to create a number of outfits the first suggestion will always be to invest in neutral colors like black and white and then after that you can go for like a third or fourth color whatever suits your color palette whenever i have to buy a button down shirt i always go to men's section because for some reason all these brands 
now they have started making some good button down shirts but earlier i used to see all these tight fitting and structured shirts for women and it made me so mad so this is all that i wanted to talk about when it comes to button down shirts so you should have a few oh this looks just like my dress so <laughs> you should have a few fancy pieces so these are a few examples and just go with whatever you have in your closet right now all the fancy pieces you don't have to throw them out oh and a very important point just because I'm showing these pieces in my capsule wardrobe, that does not mean all the remaining items are useless. Obviously, you might have purged a few items in part 2. So, whatever you have left, you can keep them. I'm just showing you the collection in my capsule wardrobe and all the foundational pieces. On top of that, whatever you add or whatever you already have in your wardrobe, you can totally keep it. I think this is a very important point that I forgot to mention. I'm so sorry about that. But coming back to the fancy pieces, so I was saying you can include some crop tops with fancy sleeves like this one is an off-shoulder top that you might have seen in my other videos again this one is like a ruffled crop top that has a v-neckline again it's very nice or you can include crop tops like these ones this is a very pretty lavender color uh, i think uh, when layering these tops it looks very nice these are all additional but optional pieces the next type is my favorite and it's double breasted blazers i have hundreds of them in my wardrobe probably not a very healthy obsession i'm trying to limit myself on the number of double breasted blazers that i buy every other month uh, but anyway that's something that i recognize is my problem i'm trying to improve but for the purpose of this video i have included two colors the first one is a uh, very light uh, of white or beige and the second one is chocolate brown you can also use black instead of brown it's totally up to you and because high quality double breasted blazers can be expensive only include them in your capsule wardrobe if you think that this is something that you're going to wear and uh, if you think that this is your personal style don't buy your double breasted blazers online unless you are 100 sure that the fit will be right although we are talking about all the summer pieces and we are going to cover summer capsule wardrobe uh, i think if you are someone who lives in a country like canada you know that you are going to need some lightweight jackets and sweatshirts in your capsule wardrobe even if it's june and july and trust me it can get cold really fast so let's talk about sweatshirts first i always have these two i don't put them away uh, during hot season so i have one in gray i have a black like this one very lightweight something that i can put on uh, just in case it's cold outside so uh, these are two or three pieces that you want to keep in one corner of your wardrobe just in case it gets too cold and you might have noticed that they both are closed sweatshirts and not open front they don't have a zipper in the front for that i always keep a few lightweight jackets like these ones so that i can throw it over my t-shirts or my shirts so this is a perfect choice for summer season again very lightweight another one that you can also invest in is a denim jacket this is optional but i think uh, this can be layered up on your dresses like the one that i'm wearing right now if i wear a denim jacket on top it will look very stylish so these are the few basic pieces that i wanted to show you guys uh, just in case you live in a relatively colder climate now let's talk about dresses i think you only need two dresses to start your capsule wardrobe the first one will be a black midi dress i think you can style this one in so many ways you can layer it up with your jackets your sweatshirts your blazers or you can wear your tops on the top and then just use this as a skirt on the bottom. So this is the first piece and the second one can be any dress that you want like this one. These are both black but you get the idea. Just uh, invest in a piece that is different from this one. Maybe a white color or maybe uh, a color that suits your complexion i think wearing dresses for me it really makes me happy so whatever makes you happy just buy that color uh, but the first one i think should be a very basic dress that you can layer up or down for casual or formal events i just realized i totally forgot about skirts when i was talking about trousers jeans and bottoms so it looks like these notes are useless after all there are two types that i want to 
talk about and show it to you guys uh, the first one is this satin midi skirt these uh, midi lengths are very versatile they go with number of your outfits and they look very chic effortlessly chic and the second piece is a pleated skirt and for some reason all my skirts are black uh, at least for this capsule wardrobe series but anyway uh, feel free to invest in any other color uh, that you like and if you're someone like me who has a 9 to 5 uh, then this skirt will be very helpful because it can go with all your blouses and shirts and you can create various uh, office outfits let's talk about belts first because that's the easiest one and for belts uh, i would say just have three in your wardrobe brown white and black these will go with all your outfits and all the pieces that i just talked about and also before buying these belts have a look at your jewelry collection if you think gold suits the best then go for gold buckles in the belt and if you think silver suits the best then go for something silver in the belt and I think this ties up your whole outfit together. Next, I want to talk about bags when it comes to accessories. Again, very neutral colors. You should have a big tote bag for the days when you have to carry a lot of stuff with you. I think these are very easy to carry and uh, they look very nice with all your casual outfits. So this is the first one for dresses like these. I think you can carry a small crossbody bag again i have this in black color if you have a nine to five uh your office going then i would suggest that you have a structured bag in neutral color just like this one i have a brown one i'd really like to take a break here and review teddy blake bag if you guys remember i did my first impression review back in I don't know what was it but it's been three months and I wanted to do a review again to uh, show you guys how it's holding up. Obviously you guys have seen this in a lot of my get ready with me reels so it's working really well for me and I needed a bag so bad for my 9 to 5 because I was not able to find a perfect size that could fit my laptop, my books, my small diary, my makeup kit so everything that I carry for the office but this is perfect and let me tell tell you uh, it's very strong I think the amount of weight that I have put in this I'm surprised that it's still like new just to give you guys an idea I usually use this bag two or three times a week and I have not seen any signs of wear and tear on the days when I feel like I don't have much stuff in the bag I just carry it like this in my hand or I can use this long strap on my shoulder so you have two options to carry it which is very nice and it looks very stylish both ways so yes that is all for this bag review and teddy blake also has a huge spring sale going on on their website and you can also use my code for extra 30 dollars off i will leave all the details in the description box down below next category is sunglasses i would just say invest in one piece high quality uh, that will last you for years and that will go with a number of your outfits that's it. I think that's all for this type. The next and the last type is something that you guys keep bugging me about. Show us your shoe collection. So here's the quick checklist. I think these are the pieces that are must have uh, for your capsule wardrobe. Let's start with the flats. You need black flats. Second one, flats in a brown color and these are very versatile. Goes with all my office outfits and my casual outfits. Black heels nude heels white sneakers this will go with all your dresses your blazers your skirts this is like the number one priority you should have a good uh, quality white sneakers in your capsule wardrobe and then black strappy heels i find myself wearing them all the time so it's up to you any brand is fine so i think all these pieces will form a good foundation for your capsule wardrobe and all your different outfits so i think that is all i think i covered everything yeah i think we are done so yes this is everything for part three of capsule wardrobe series and when i was going through uh, the list i realized that editing will take longer than usual and i have a feeling that this video can be delayed by a week or so if that's the case i apologize in advance but i want to make sure that everything comes together by the end of part five i will see you in part four where i will create different outfits using all these pieces and if you find this video helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe bye